into the game at all. It was a cruel and powerful display by the forwards in the Wigan outfit. And both those coaches realised that the importance of doing that to the opposition in the opening 10, 15 minutes will set the stage for perhaps a vital win. 18 minutes away. It's going through every single player's mind. It's got Old Trafford written across the brain box. 80 minutes to get there. Well, it's a packed headingly. It's the second semi-final of the first utility Super League. And Old Trafford, the theatre of dreams, is the prize. Referee is Robert Hicks. Just checking with everybody that uh, all set to go. Pitch is looking in magnificent order, I must say. And so, here we go. Will it be Leeds? Will it be Saints to face Wigan at Old Trafford next week? High hanging kickoff. Whoa! Jordan Turner with the first error of the match. But what a kickoff. It was spiraling, yeah. twisting, and turning all over the shop. Unbelievable. They practice this every single week, and you could see there his position was good, but the arms just didn't raise to embrace it. He waited for the ball to come down into the palm. You've got to lift the arms and embrace it into your body. Mike, does the ball not go backwards? Oh, you can't well, say that. He's, lost, he's just lost, lost control, simple as that. Yeah. And if you remember, in the Super League match here, earlier in the season, exactly the same thing happened to St. Helens. Kyle Amor, it was that night, who dropped the ball in front of his own sticks. And... Well, we all know what happened then. It was a 14-point victory for the Leeds Rhinos. Saints will be hoping Lightning ain't going to strike twice, but this is Brett Delaney. It's the worst possible start for the champions. They'll have to defend their line here because Burrow has it. He's given it to Sinfield. This is Maguire. Here is Ablett. Oh, now good defence there by Jordan Turner. It looked as though Ablett was trying to do the offload. There's about half a run around there. This is the man that could steer them. Maguire he had a tremendous match last week. Rob Burrow scampers in to dummy half. Gives the pass to Ablett, he comes back the same way. Solid oh, St. Helens defence on five of the six tackles. What do Leeds have up their sleeves here? It's be a it's kick with Maguire. Into the, into Cross the corner. field kick. Sorry, Eddie. And Swift claims that. Adam Swift, understated and in many cases underrated Adam Swift. That was a great take. Not in my book. He's played well, that kid. Well, it's an unsettling start if you're saying Talons, and it all came because of Zach Hardacre's kick from the tee. He set it up. I'd be very surprised if Tommy Makinson, Jordan Turner, Mossy Masoy, who would be catching a ball down in that corner, didn't know what was coming. We've seen Zach Hardacre do it off the tee so often. He gets a spiral bomb coming down high out of the sky from the tee. It's a difficult skill to pull off, but the Man of Steel nominee did it in that time at St. Helens. Well, a poor start to the game for them, a great one for Zach Hardacre and Leeds. And good set defensively from Leeds as well because they restricted Sinks to within their own 40-metre zone. The kick from Walsh finds Hardacre. He finds Ryan Hall. His 200th try for the Leeds Rhinos last week will haunt Huddersfield for years to come and it will be played and replayed in this part of the world, I'm sure, for well, the years to come as well. It surprised me that St. Helens and their kicker, Luke Walsh, decided to kick straight down the throat of Zach Hardacre. Remember last week, Ryan Hall, he was a hero, five seconds to go, scores a try, but he had one of his worst performances throughout this season. He was dropping the ball, everything was going wrong for him until that last five seconds, and they'll put plenty of pressure on him. He's got to kick to him as Luke Walsh. Kevin Sinfield on his 250th appearance at this Headingley ground was the man who played the ball, and that's well claimed by Josh Jones over on that far side. Second time they've been tested down that left-hand flank. Swift, the man on the ball now, defused the first bomb. This was Josh Jones. Uh, I think it was Phil Quinlan that got to it, Eddie, but I'll just, in regards to the fact that, you know, St. Helens will put a lot of pressure on Ryan Hall, Adam Quinlan's going to get plenty of work tonight as well because he can be a little bit suspect on the high kick. Mossy Masoy got the ball away looking for Mark Flanagan. He dropped it. He had the opportunity, nothing wrong with the pass as far as, and, well, he's raised the arm saying it's his fault, but I, I don't think it was. He should have taken that. OK, he had to reach back slightly. What a golden opportunity. Flanagan would have been clear. Well, you don't have to start big games well to win them, but boy, does it help. 
And Leeds have begun in the first four minutes in total control. Where the game's been played, the tempo of the game, and all of the stress has been on the Saints so far. Leeds have been very good at this season at converting their opportunities into tries. It's why they sit at the top of the table. Now then, here's a great opportunity for them to get the first score. Little warning as well for St. Helens' side as Leeds shifted it to their right. Oh, Saints have got it back and they can attack down that side. What about that? Massimo Masoy with the kick. Well, Callum Watkins, he lost control there. The knock on. They bring it back Time because, off. of course, it was the free play because it was the knock on. Leeds get the possession back. Mark Flanagan will be relieved that uh, this has happened. Well, interesting that from Masoy. Well, Eddie, the warning for St. Helens. Here we see it now. Last ball from Callum Watkins. It is Watkins I wanted to talk about because I would imagine they will send him down. Tor, look at his footwork here. He's lost at that time. But it's that footwork that Josh Jones will be defending in left centre for St. Helens. And Adam Swift outside him. John Wilkin will be on the inside. Those three will have a lot of decisions to make because of that man, Callum Watkins. One of the most sensational players in the Super League when it comes to footwork and evasive skills. Roby from the back of the scrum too. Mark Flanagan, who played, by the way, under Tim Sheens at the West Tigers Club, which is probably an explanation as to why Mark Flanagan's off to Salford next year. The news just been announced, in case you have just joined us. One of a whole raft of new signings for Salford next year. Here is Flanagan again. Good work by St. Helens. They struggled in the first set of six to get anywhere near the halfway line. Now they're in a good position to control the kick. Solid run from the telly of A2. Devil's own job for Moon and Burrow to put him to ground. Here goes Roby skimming away from one, skimming away from two. Roby will score for Saints. Well, the catastrophic start of dropping the first kickoff is now a memory and James Roby has scored for St Helens back in the dream team this year for the first time in three years James Roby man of the match in the win against Wigan man of the match at Old Trafford last year well this was the mistake there Callum Watkins couldn't control the ball then they got, and this is very poor defence. I'm taking nothing away from Roby. He spins around. Well, this is a merry-go-round. Dream player, dream try, a dream start for the visitors. He should have been stopped. But as I say, you can't take anything away from this hooker. Magnificent stuff. There's a pirouette, number two. Sidestep, number three. And he puts the four points on the scoreboard. It's absolutely brilliant what James Roby does, and you see Kevin Sinfield you now reinforcing the message to the Rhinos. But very often it's the play before the one of the try that is the significant one. The run from the second rower, Atalea Vey, number 11 for St. Helens, just bursting through Danny Maguire's tackle, and playing the ball half a second quicker than usual, allowed James Roby to step on his opponents. So here now is Luke Walsh to try and had the extras from Bang in front, which he does. And St. Helens lead by six points to nil. The decision idea of Carl Ablett to, to run up and close down Luke Walsh. You'll see that's the gap that James Roby ended up going in between Carl Ablett and Kylie Lulawai. Everybody expected Roby to go to his right. He came back, bounced back to his left. He's an elusive player. We know that very difficult to tackle. And he made some very good defenders look ordinary on that occasion. The high and deep kickoff. This time pouched safely enough by Jordan Turner. He gives it to Mossy Masoy, and the Leeds defence give it to Mossy. Yeah, that was a good hit from Lulawai. Well, they'll be disappointed with their defensive effort. Brian McDermott, the Rhinos coach, will be furious over that. We know his evasive is, uh, is roving, but to be able to just spin out like two cartwheels and then go to the line, poor defence. Well, if you like your omens, St. Helens scored first at that Move. end, where Roby has just plunged over in the Super 8 victory last month. Last Adam Cook, listen. Go. Good night. 6 0 Saints. Luke Walsh with the ball. Crossfield kick, and this is going to be simple for Briscoe. He gives it to Hardacre. Well, the only thing I think of is that Walsh, it, it was a mistake. Move, Mark. Went about Go. 15 yards forward, and uh, as you can see now, only on the first Two. tackle, 
We're already in the opposition half. Here's Mitch Garbutt. And he's taking on the big man up the middle, Mossy Masoy. And Kyle Moore and John Wilkin. Goes down. Slow play the ball. That's what St. Helens will be looking for. Here is Delaney. Delaney 14 metres away from the St. Helens line. Plays the ball to David uh, Peacock. Burrow, getting just and on Peacock the field. is in the, the uh, action early. Eight and a half minutes in. Now it's Sinfield. High. Again into that corner. Quinlan deals with it this time, once again. All for a penalty there. I mean, Quinlan did the right thing to leave the ground, but was he touched in the air by Danny Maguire? It was pretty close, Brian. I have to agree with you on that. Now, it's so important that Leeds... I've seen them um, given... Well, he was off the ground, wasn't he? He did well to keep his feet up, but Maguire did tackle him before he hit the ground. Santana's playing with a bit of pace here is Percival. Trying to run Leeds off their feet early. Oh, and here's a penalty. Knee in at the play of the ball by Danny Maguire. Silly play. He's got enough experience to do a thing like that. Uh, it was pretty good defence in the build-up to it. They're keeping St. Helens way down into their own danger red zone. And then to give away a penalty. 35 metres downfield, this will put them... And it'll put the Rhinos under, under even more pressure. Well, it's a wonderful start. I really do get the feeling that the St. Challenge pack is uh, looking a little bit stronger in the opening, uh, well, just under 10 minutes. Try score to Roby, restarts, finds Walsh, here is Kyle Amor, and that was Mitch Garbutt and Cuthbertson flying in. Roby, Mossy Masoy trundles it up the middle once again, trying to take the wind out of some lead sails. Flanagan back to Walsh, Walsh to Atelebe, Quinlan. Here is Jordan Turner. Just came a little bit late, did Turner. It was a, a double switch. You don't often see that these days, but it's obvious that Kieran Cunningham has been working hard on the uh, training paddock for the inside pass. And there we see it again, back on the inside. Vey takes it forward once again. First start to a match since March when he injured his shoulder. Injuries really oh. have blighted his first year at the Saints. Turner finds Walsh. Walsh dabs the kick through. That was looking for Wilkin. Wilkin couldn't get through them. Oh. Tremendous play by Zach Hardacre. Oh, and that's one of the reasons why he's a, a nominee for the Man of Steel. His positional play here is superb. Didn't hesitate, it, just read the kick. Home crowd, they're panicking. They're saying that they're all offside. Here's a break from Moon. Yes, Joel Moon. Quinlan's holding off. Quinlan times the tackle to perfection, but great progress made by Joel Moon. Maguire, quick play the ball. He finds Burrow. Burrow to Peacock. Peacock straight into the chest of Wilkin. Gets the ball away brilliantly to Sinfield. Here is Callum Watkins. Wide they go. Tommy Briscoe. Oh, can he bounce this? Does he ground it correctly? He's and Adam Swift it. saved St. Helens here. I think he's just dropped it dead. Check the ground. Yes, he man. knows it too. They've got no try on the field. He knows it inside. He knows he's lost control. Well, they all seem fairly confident that it was no try, and I think we see why. He just lost the ball, no downward pressure, and the ball goes dead. 20 metre restart, the Saints. How good was that defence from Adam Swift? Ugly at its best. For Leeds to attack from their own 20 metres on, keep the ball alive, Moon made it through. But Santella's efforts to recover, that almost gets you into the grand final. Watch what Adam Swift has to do when they shift the ball back. This is the break from Joel Moon initially. Quinlan comes back, makes a tackle of Joel Moon. But when Leeds spin it from left to right, Adam Swift is held up by Kevin Sinfield and then has to get across and make this effort at the very end on Tom Briscoe after having accounted for, for Kevin Sinfield further in the field. Brilliant defensive display from the only ever present in the St. Helen side. Yes, he is, Adam Swift, 35th appearance of 2015. He has worked overtime, 21 tries in all. He's their top try scorer this year, and that was a, a crunching tackle that preserved the line intact here. It was they an still lead 6-0. It was an amazing effort, and, and I just wonder whether that, that long ball was the, the option, the best option. They could have got Callum Watkins coming through in it. Here's Makinson now down the wing. Intercepted as Maguire. 
And it looks like Kieran Cunningham has thrown onto the field Alex Wormsley early. Garbutt takes it forward now for Leeds. What a great save. Yes, good defence from Maguire. Excellent defence from Danny Maguire. That really could have rocked the home side. Well, I look a little bit lost in the uh, in the defensive section. Got to sort that out as well. Burrow, left-footed, right down the middle of the field, over the head of Makinson, good kick. Stands on its end, 10 metres away from the Saints line, but look at the, the progress made forward by Makinson. And that's what I like to see, you know, when the, when the ball's kicked directly to a winger, or the fullback. You know, none of this running on an angle and bringing someone else looks as though Makinson's got picked up a bit of a knock. But once you get it, get into him. Oh, you can see twists there underneath. Tackle by Rob Burrow, low down. Well, they don't want to lose him, and uh, he's just having a chat with the physio. Well, they're a quicker player the balls than the game we saw last night. It's helping the game to go end to end. And I think we've obviously seen the commitment by saving the tries and stopping the tries. Two certain scores denied in the last few minutes. Well, they're, they're certainly utilising the big second row at Atea Viet because that's the, the third or fourth time he's done the angle cross with the... And here's a kick now from uh, from Luke Walsh. Too long. A bit strong. Yes, yeah, too long from Walsh. Leeds will restart with a tap on the 20. And they've got to wait until Saints are all... That's because side and the Leeds players are behind the line as well. Yeah, it was because he passed the ball, they have to wait. They can't have a quick restart once the ball's been passed. Oh, oh it's the ball down. spills out from Garbutt. And Josh Jones, it's another kick down the line. They know they're going to get the free play and it'll come back. It's well worth it, isn't it? Well worth to take the option. Just tackle from John Wilkin here, forcing the ball free from Garbutt. Roby also had an involvement in freeing it. Could have been a little uh, classed as high from John Wilkin. Certainly finished up into uh, into the face. Yeah, Garbutt feels well, that tens, and is feeling it. Well, Garbutt had a look at the official and said, well, surely that was a high shot. Just turned it away by Robert Hicks. Get in. In you go. Adam. Ball, John. Out. Roby from the back of the scrum to Luke Walsh. Percival will take over. One. Move, Jamie. Hold, Again, we saw that Hold. switch pass coming from the outside, going down Bender. on the inside there. Here's Alex Wormsley. Challenge playing the ball much quicker than their opposite. All right, that one, good ball. Three. Jordan Move. Turner, good tackle as well by Callum Go. Watkins to deny John Wilkin. Going down that left channel again with uh, Jordan Move, Turner. Callum. Keep coming. Hold, hold. And Roby waits 12 metres away. Here is Wilkin, pops it up to Amor. Kyle Amor, who is away from Garbutt briefly. He's still going, is Amor. Hey, He's halted what? just short of the line. line. Boy, Fifth boy. tackle, last one coming up. Go. Roby stabs play the ball to the end goal. It comes back, back to, to back St. Helens, yes. And Roby has it back. Now, this is a great chance for the Saints. So close to the line. Another set of six coming. Neat little option, wasn't it, from Roby? Walton plays the ball. Roby. Turner, Turner goes inside, Ablett, Turner! Well, he's so close to the line, but just short, says Robert Hicks, the referee. Hardacre got underneath, just couldn't get the ball away. Oh, they got the lead. Oh, oh. the intercept again! Offside, offside against Danny Maguire. Certainly jumped out very early. It's a big debate here you now whether the kick at goal we see Maguire sets off well. Maybe that's a harsh call. He didn't seem too far in front of the line, but the touch just says he was. And the penalty here now, midway between the posts and the touchline. Kickable op option for... Uh, th there was the attempt on the last play to get the ball in goal by Roby. Trapped and Remus uh, restart of six players, but... Why said he wasn't, complains. Irrelevant now, the decision given. Well, he's got to have his, uh, his, his foot on the line when that ball's played. And uh, certainly from the view we've seen, he was... Uh, he's got to time it. He was pretty close. Well, they're a bit six and sevens at the moment to the home side. And it all came about by that, uh, that neat little kick by James Roby. Ricocheted away, got the extra set of six. And this fellow, Luke Walsh, will be quite happy. 
it's in a good position to extend the lead. And of course, he'd be desperate to get to Old Trafford. Luke Walsh, having missed the run to the grand final last year because of injury, missed all the playoff campaign. So this is a big kick for him. First time that Walsh has been playing at this level. And he just hammers the ball over the top of the crossbar and St. Helens increase the lead to 8-0. They're turning Leeds' mistakes into position, pressure and ultimately points. Kieran Cunningham will be delighted with the fact that they can force a mistake out of the Leeds Rhinos and then get the ball back down the other end of the field, but crucially have the scoreboard ticking over in their favour. Psychologically, that could be a blow. He set it up on the tee again. You'd imagine this will be another spiral and difficult to catch. And it is, and Turner gets it safely this time. But he had to stretch and reach. One, move, and it had so much four, hang time on the ball four, that uh, Leeds are able to get the tackle in before two, he makes move, more than two metres progress up the other end of the field. Well, they made it look hard work, didn't it, Jordan Turner? But uh, His heart must be in his mouth every yeah. time the ball's up in the air. But the towards him. His coach Kieran Cunningham realises that when he switched Jordan Turner from the centres to the standoff position, they re really have been a better look inside of the Saints. He's uh, fitted into that standoff position exceptionally well. This is Amor, gets the hands free, finds Roby here now. Walsh, Walsh then to Atelive. He goes inside and outside. Danny Maguire then slips the ball to Percival. And Percival. But well, he was looking for the touch judge. I think he actually wanted to find Tommy Makinson, but I think it touched yeah. Leeds' hand. That's what Makinson is appealing for. That's what they're claiming. And the touch judge said, I think he's turned it down. The touch judge has called that it wasn't played at, but I think you can see there that it was. So is this an instance where the video referees can step in? The two looks, and there's the touch from Hall. This should be Saints' head and feet. And it is. It was a Burley. Bail touch by Ryan Hall. Boy, it was only a glimmer, wasn't it? Not much in that. Get his heads in, boys. Ooh, it's 50-50 uh, anyway, but it's heads gone. In. The visitors' way, they won't Ball be arguing. Down. No, this scrum Out. goes down 40 metres away from the Leeds line. Flanagan. Short ball to Wilkin. Ball move, Carl! Ball Leeds been hold. on the back Wait. foot, really, haven't they, Wait. from that... Uh, First mistake by on. Turner from the kickoff. Move, that it's been all St. Helens. They lead 8 0 and Amor to his feet. Quick Plays the ball to Roby. Day. Here goes Alex Wormsley. Three, no two, one's Zach. made more metres forward than this fellow Stop. in Super League Stop. this year. Roby to Walsh. Walsh then to Wilkin. Wilkin dabs it to the corner. Too long. Yeah, nice 20, option 20. though. No, mate, I'm happy he's not playing. And uh, at it. He's not he playing knows. At it anyway. There's John 20. Wilkin being the captain. The kick into the corner. It's just turning. Leeds Rhino side around time and time again that they find it devilish difficult to get out Move, back of their here, own back quarter. Here, hold, and uh, hold, Saints have to be very careful now not to give away the penalty. They, they're two, getting out of the blocks move, exceptionally quickly. Hold on, hold on. Cuthbertson will drive it in. Play on, play Gets on, one of the trademark offloads away. Hardacre picks up the scraps. He then offloads to Sinfield. Three. Sinfield, Peacock, Lulu, I remember last match on this oh, ground oh. in these colours. Singleton has joined the party. Gets the ball away to Rob Burrow. Burrow with the scamper of the oh, middle. That's going to be a penalty. Teave didn't miss him. I know he's, he's low to the ground. And that's what he's saying to the official. Well, he ducked underneath it, but he got a, a real smack in the mouth. Bay tried to bring the arm down. Not to convince the official, but... He'd already done the damage, and they kicked on that right-hand side. Let's keep on working, and John. I'm just wondering if there's Hold a chimney up. on fire somewhere, or is it the mist, you think, that's falling? Because we've had another glorious autumn day oh. here in New West Jones Yorkshire. Here. There's certainly Hold. something drifting across Hold. the Headingley pitch at the moment. There's a bit of a niff in the air as well. Here is Maguire. Maguire finds Watkins. Watkins to Hardacre! Try for Leeds. He bounced his way over. Imagine has taken him home. It's going upstairs. So beautiful pass and put the ball time. back in. Check the double lead for an obstruction. He's given and a try though, as Robert wants, Hicks. He wants to check the double movement or a possible double movement. He wants to check possible obstruction further up the field, Stuart. 
That's right. Well, my live view would say that neither of those happened. I think the defence was committed to the runner going through, and Zach Hardacre certainly slid over. His momentum took it over, so there's no problem there. I think that's what they're looking at, and I think Atella Bay goes into Carl Ablett, and that's play on from there. And from this instance, he never stops his momentum. He's allowed to move his arm because he's still moving, so there's no problem at all. Try to lead. Ben Thaler and Richard Silverwood, the men in the uh, video referee booth tonight, senior officials. 99th try of the career coming for Zach Hardacre. And the try is given and leads are back in the hunt. And it just shows you the importance of keeping your discipline. Teo Vane went high, gave away the penalty, and it gave them the opportunity. When St. Helens had full control of this game, both in attack and defence, and you can see that two men went, Kyle Amor and Teo Vane went for the same man. Good offload. Fullback did everything right. Momentum gets him over. Lots of teams tell the right winger and right centre, stay on the right side of the field. Leads aren't restricted in that manner. And Callum Watkins coming from the opposite side of the field. You might have seen them behind the way he just drifted around the back, creating the extra man. And that's another six points for the Leeds Rhinos. Back to game on. Yes, Kevin Sinfield doesn't miss those 106 goals now in 2015. Well, it was just a bad read by the man that had conceded the penalty. Kyler Moore, as you said, Steve-O, he had his man accounted for. They need to be a little bit more patient, trust his inside defence, and push back off on the man that would be coming and sweeping around. Made it very difficult for his teammates to try and defend that, and they weren't able to. And Zach Hardacre, uh, can he round off what's been a brilliant individual year so far with a place in a grand final? And can Jamie Peacock, Kevin Sinfield, and Kyle Lillewey bid farewell to the Rhinos with a place in the grand final? We know Wigan are there. It's all going to happen next Move. Saturday, the 10th, 5 o'clock, live Hold Sky Sports 1 for all the build-up. Um, we're not far off knowing Three, now move, whether it will be Leeds or here, Saints here. joining the Warriors Hold 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 at the Theatre of Dreams under the lights. Spectacular night coming up. And we've got a spectacular Move. night developing here, I fancy. Yeah, it certainly Wait. happened. Uh, we pinpointed before the game, Eddie, that uh, Rob Barrow would play an important part in this. And... It's amazing Move. the amount of times this fella Hold. gets battered Wait. because Wait. it's so small and he, he he gets them all frustrated, especially the forward. All charged Back down, good job that Hardacre's Double there. One. Yes, but it's another set one. for Leeds. Move, charged down, he go. went to play the ball, the St. Helens man went to charge it down. Here is Ablett, gets it away to Maguire, held on to it brilliantly. And then offloads to Adam Cuthbertson. And Cuthbertson goes straight two, at Wormsley. Two, he was looking for the offload as well. Oh, Burrow was there. And Big play of the ball. Wormsley was slow. He was caught up in the traffic Three, in the play the ball top. area. Here, mate, here. They're struggling a bit of Saints. Right, right. Get the defence well, sorted out. This is Maguire. Turns it back into centre field to Peacock. And Peacock, who oh, he had his arms right. free as well, thought about the offload. Watkins in a dummy half. Delaney, Delaney to Sinfield, this is Singleton, good tackle by Roby. Burrow, Sinfield wide into the in-goal area as well, claimed by Adam Swift. Great work by the winger. The option was good on Sinfield, but the winger was absolutely oh, super. Positional yeah, sent out, Andy. They got to go now, make it and go, play the ball quickly. Play the ball. Go You've been hit edge. by Leeds Rhinos. They go. play quickly because they offload the ball. They move the defence around. St. Helens a little bit more straightforward. Yeah. They've got to get Hold. out of the elbows, knees. And get this lead go. side rolling backwards. Masoy will take it forward. Move, Jamie. And He's got a great. maximum go. of one game left for St. Helens if they get to Old Trafford. Here's Telebe again. Last move, Brad. Last tackle coming up for the Saints. Go. Roby to Walsh. The kick. High into the mist. And Briscoe, oh, he's nudged off it then. He was nudged off it by Josh Jones. Yeah, silly play. Can't take him out, mate. You can only utilise the shoulder charge it. if you're running in the boats in the same direction, and uh, he just pushes him away. Difficult, isn't it? You see how difficult it is when you get the lights, and uh, as Eddie has mentioned,
very, very misty indeed. Well, Fascinating how Kieran it. Cunningham has started to oh, use yeah. his big men to make a so difference in this match. Alex Wormsley has started the game on the subs bench, has well, been on and on off already here. in less than oh, 25 wait, minutes. Wait. He knows he needs a big impact and he needs the big men to play at a high pace, but whether the question is, can they do that for 80? And Masoino back on and involved in that Two. tackle. Italian well, a big problem, Phil, in, in many, many respects, is that, uh, you know, was Wormsley coming into this game 100%? Hey, that's perhaps Andre. a problem for Kieran Cunningham, yeah, the coach. Hold, mate, hold. Steve, you, you know there won't be a player out there 100%. The, the injuries they got to carry. Oh, Again, he just gave the stat for He's Swift. 35 right. games was it. He's put his body through, and that's on the wing. You just imagine what the forwards have been through. Good pick up by Maguire. Gets the ball away to Ryan Hall. Wilkin gets to... Hall, but he's Last, devil of a job here. to put him no, on the deck. No, no. They do eventually. Good Last night. one here for Leeds. And Maguire with a kick. Great kick, too. Whoops. That's bounced off Percival. Zero. And it's a zero, zero on the tackle count. Cuthbertson. Zero. He did well, Cuthbertson, to drop straight Goal away. Line. He was heading for the whitewash. Go. Maguire. Singleton. It was your own now. Let's pounding. Great run oh. from the big fella. Hardek is screaming. He wants Line. to come late. Second phase from the Go. full back. Coming that way on the half volley to Sinfield. There's Hardacre. Now Watkins. Well defended, Eddie. Two. Very well defended Two. for the Saints. Holy, hold. Hold. Penalty. Penalty for hands in. Will they take the two and level things up when they go for broke? Well, knowing Sinfield, they'll probably go for the two. It's a bit of a safety first situation. And I'm not so sure that uh, James Rowe didn't know what he was doing there. They were all over the place in regards to their uh, defensive quality. So therefore, perhaps give away a penalty maybe is better than perhaps giving away six points. They were stretched, Steve O'Phil had reference Josh Jones's defensive read. He came in and shut it down, but it still gave Leeds Rhinos a quick play of the ball. And if you've got a retreating defensive line, you can't get back, you can't get your eyes up and see what's coming at you. You're vulnerable to the concession of the penalty. Roby caught out that time. Sinfield lining up this kick after Roby conceding the penalty. It's gone now. Kevin Sinfield, 18 years ago, he made his first appearance at Headingley against the Sheffield Eagles. This is his 250th appearance on this ground in Leeds Colours. Super League's top goal kicker again. The first top three goal kicking charts in 2004. And he's added two more points to the Leeds total oh, and for well, level pegging after 27 well, minutes. Eight apiece. Yeah, yeah, it's good, mate. It's not. This was the period it's of the gone, game yeah. last week against oh. Huddersfield. They had gone toe to toe the sides. And then on the 30 minute mark, Leeds were able to step it up yeah, a little me, and come away with a two point advantage at half time. And they did have to cling on and claw their way back in so late through Ryan Hall. But just coming up towards half time with fatigue setting in to these players. Kieran Conham, he's made the decision to take Wormsley off. He might be vulnerable. Not sure if we'll see him on again in this half. But there might be some gaps starting to open up. Hardacre underneath the kickoff. Peacock takes One. it oh, forward John. again. Hold, Andre. Hold, Leeds. Lad, all the way. Lewis, he's done go, well done. consistently well over the years. Jamie Peacock. This now is Brett Delaney. Two. Andre, move. Atalea. Fighting Wait, to get well to done. his feet go. quickly. Plays the ball to Burrow. Singleton. Sinfield. Maguire lays it off to Joel Moon. Danger every time Moon has the ball in hand. Watkins is there in support. He's gone the wrong way. Back. He's got back the ball back, one. though, off Walsh. Back Six to, to go. And Moon has waltzed through them again and again. Moon, Quinlan with the tackle. Go. Maguire. Two. Good option Move. to go on that short blind yeah, side, but Walsh was eager to it. Got him down. Peacock. Three, move, Peacock Josh. goes down line. on the oh, third mate. tackle, five oh, metres shy Josh. of the line. Burrow, Sinfield, Singleton. Louis McCarthy, oh. Scarsbrook, importantly, move, gets to him oh, as oh. he was getting up ahead of oh. steam. Rob Burrow on his own, will he? No, he's going to pass it out onto that left-hand side. To Danny Maguire. Ah. Maguire goes down move, under the weight line. of Andre Savelio. They've reached the last tackle here, have go. the Rhinos with Burrow and Sinfield. And there's Hardacre, nice kick in, well read by Adam oh. Quinlan. Move, Callum! Yeah, super play from both sides, not oh. perhaps the Go. solid kick from the fullback Zach Hardacre.
But if you're going to come up with uh, a Turn poor kick, you may as well put it when you're only about oh, 10 metres away from the opposition. Again, great defence from St. Helens. If you want to win this game and get to the grand final, there's going to be times when you have to defend your line without conceding a try or a goal line dropout. And the accuracy and timing there of the fullback to get himself in the right position make sure that they weren't trapped in goal. Here's Wilkin. Last move, Jamie! It's the shoulder to the wheel, but that's the last tackle. And Roby with the kick, and this is a 40-20 possibility. Ooh, just short. Yeah, not, not much in it either. Good opportunity. He's got this wonderful action right from the dummy half position. Well, you, you see, this, it's very difficult to try to shut him down and run about half a metre. Good option. And they're relieved. Written all over the face of Ryan Hall. Amazing that he's back in the Dream Team for the first time since 2012. He was a Man of Steel nominee this time last year, but overlooked in 2015, James Roby, and he's been I'll just as right consistent now. as ever. There's plenty of people with theories about that, Eddie. You just become oh. complacent. As Kieran Cunningham said it himself in an interview, he They're said, okay. I back. even at times take James Roby for granted because of his performance oh. levels. They never, Move ever drop. Right here, here. Hold. Go. Yeah, he's consistently one of the best year on year. Delaney bumps off the first would-be challenge Josh. from Jones. Jones Go. gets him at the second attempt. Callum Watkins. Oh, he tried Wait. to go round Joe Wait, Greenwood Wait. there. Come on, come on. Go. Burrow. Sinfield. Cuthberton. Quick hands. Peacock. Well, the million pound game is due tomorrow, 2.45 Sky Sports 1, when Wakefield and Bradford hope to join the party in 2016 in Super League. Will it be Wakefield? Will it be Bradford? Back in the big time by tea time tomorrow night. Sky Sports 1, 2.45 taken in the in goal area by Quinlan yeah diffuser bomb his uh, position play tonight has been uh, excellent we anticipated that it was going to get plenty of work but it was just a, a touch too long last two sets Steve that Leeds Rhinos have had they haven't had a good kick at the end of it Zach Hardacre putting his boot to ball on both times you got Danny Maguire out there you've got in particular Kevin Sinfield I know Zach can kick a ball but Leeds need to be a little better towards the end of the set and have their kickers preparing and getting themselves in positions to put a bit more pressure on St. Helens. Wilkin and Walsh, that pass to McCarthy Scarsbrook. Surrender! Back, back. Hold. Roby and Walsh in centre field. Down the line, an invitation for Adam Swift to chase, but it was a long, long way ahead of him. And, and not actually, about, Josh Jones got there yeah. first. Yeah, and not a bad option as well from St. Helens. Not waiting till the last. You Two. can see that uh, the winger had to Here, hold. be caught out. Hold. Back, they got there in the end. But again, solid Three. defense. Good man of man marking. So, well, well excellent play from Wigan doing that. No sliding defense. They just man on man. Huddersfield found it very difficult. Release for to get me. Leeds are finding exactly the same. Peacock. Slips the pass back to Sinfield. Sinfield gets away from Josh Jones almost. Burrow, this is the last for Leeds. Oh, it's a, a kick. beautiful kick. See how the back's been on that. Good return from Makinson. And a great tackle by Callum Watkins, just when you needed it. to Danny! Hold here, go. Hold on. Roby. Coming. He'll take oh, full oh, advantage, oh. Will Roby. Leeds were a little bit slow to get their first uh, marker set up. Percival. Oh, Moon Danny. got the tackle in, importantly. Go. Quinlan waits. Just over halfway with Wilkin. Decent Move. run from the St. Helens captain in his injury. Oh, yeah, he went in awkward. He went down awkward there. Did he get a boot in the face here? Yep. Oh, yes, he did. Yep. No intent. Didn't realise what's happening there. Let's go. Didn't miss. High off the boot of Luke Walsh, then. Ooh, they've all let Play it bounce. Still the last, Still the last Still one the last. here. Play oh, well played. Off the ground Play to Savellio, round the corner. Oh, and a kick Play from Wilkins. On. Oh, zero, says the referee. Six to go for St. Helens. Oh, they've come up with a forward. They'll go back. 
a little bit of panic setting in there. He's completely lost the plot. And, uh, as you can see, it was a difficult kick to see. Well, Grant Kelly pointed out that in the last five minutes, the accurate, troublesome kicks have come from St. Helens, not from Leeds. Luke Walsh has won first game ground. That now caused problems and has given them possession in the opponent's half. With just over five minutes to go, we're at that phase in the game where defence isn't quite as tight as it was in the first five. The gaps for the speedsters start to get an inch wider. Let's see what St. Helens can make of this then. A Televé, first of all. Ten missed tackles each in this first half so far. McCarthy scars. Will they, he goes. Will they utilize this crisscross pattern again? It was uh, effective in the opening 15 minutes. Roby trying to go through. Singleton dealt with the threat then. Knock on. Yeah. Knock on by Roby. It's human. Oh, there's a hand on the ball there the whole way through. Yeah. The officials have missed it. And that's the reason why uh, Honest James went to the official. It was helped there, sir. Not seen. Jamie Peacock's fingers. Won't be arguing, Jamie Peacock. No, listen, his experience, he knows that he's got away with it. It may come back to haunt him later. We have the, the opposition do exactly the same. By the way, keep your eye out uh, during the course of in the next few months there will be a, a special program on Sky Sports about the, the career of Jamie Peacock from the Sky Sports Originals department, so keep your eye out for that. One of the great servants of this game over the years, still going strong. There he is again. Jamie Peacock, 37 years young, won the treble with the Bulls in 2003, to win the treble with Leeds Rhinos 2015. Nice little inside pass there. Danny Maguire, they just got to him in the end. Oh, it, it looked as though he was going to lose it. Move, come on. Wait, wait, go. Sinfield hangs on and plays the ball to Burrow. Here is Maguire, pumps it into the corner. Quick thinking. Been around long enough for this fella. And uh, the kick into the corner, let's get out of here and just turn him around. It's uh, positive thinking. While they're just about setting up the scrum, uh, I'd just like to uh, pass on... Uh, all the best to a young lad, Ben Restall. He's a keen Rhinos fan. He's just had major surgery quite recently. And from everybody at Sky, Ben, we ropes, hope guys. that your recovery Stay is very, very ball. successful and swift. Indeed, I'd like also, we're doing all this at this time, just to give in. a word to Bill Arthur, our uh, great friend and colleague. Bill, not been too clever over the past oh. couple of weeks. You might have Ouch. noticed he'd been missing. He's been in the coronary care unit at... Bassett Law Hospital in workshop. They're a brilliant team. They've been very good to Bill over the past week. Thank you for looking after him. And Bill, we hope to see you back and uh, on the Sky Sports team very, very quickly indeed. Our best wishes to you for a recovery. I know you're watching at home. And I know also that you'll be watching the grand final next Saturday. And that's from each and every one of us on this team. Luke Walsh, deep kick down the middle of the field. Ardaker underneath it. You know, that, that again has surprised me. We saw last week, Ryan Hall had a nightmare under the kick. The Giants really put him under pressure and not once the Saints Hall's kicked going. towards him tonight. The nightmare, Steve-O, is the choices that Luke Walsh faces. He can Two. kick at the top, Briscoe, Zach Hardaker, or Ryan Hall. Holes. I'm not Holes. sure which one he should go. Way, he needs to try and find grasp, but they're dropping two and sometimes three, three back three in the backfield. Yeah. So it's difficult for him to find a bit of green and let the ball bounce and skid on that. Leeds Rhinos back three, noted as the best in the competition. I understand you don't want to give it straight to any of the three of them, but the alternatives, well, they don't really exist oh, for Luke Walsh at times. Both sides with an eye on the clock, two minutes to half time. It would be a, a priceless try just before half time. Psychologically, a brilliant time to score. If either of these two teams can get over the line in the next 120 seconds or so. Maguire down the line, but that wasn't a Huddersfield chip down the line from Maguire for Hall, and he holds his hand up. Yeah, you could see get off the outside of the, the left boot there. And he's right footed. The idea, was, the idea was good. Well, he is capable of uh, the kicking from either foot. 
So Go. St. Helens get the ball from the turnover. Oh, Carthens is oh, dropped oh, to the ground by Garbutt. Go. Is this a set that could end with a one-pointer just before half time? Well, they're yeah. far enough upfield here, Two. Mike. Yeah, yeah. every chance. All the way, Callum. They're a fair way Hold. out, though. Go. They've uh, still got a few up the sleeve. And they might get closer here because this is now Percival. And Percival has Makin, sir. And Makinson plies the brakes. He yeah. saw Hardacre coming Three. across. Go. Great Line. defensive Line. tackle again Line. by Zach Hardacre. Go. And will they switch it into the centre of the field with Luke Walsh? No, they come back this way with Adam Quinlan. Quinlan releases the pass to Atele Bay. Move, Jamie! Line. Well, they're lined Hold. up in the middle of the field. Go. Waiting for Quicker, this. Boys. Here is Walsh. Walsh then to Jordan Turner. And Turner goes through them. Now they need Surely they'll go, they'll go for Luke one. Walsh, Luke Walsh oh, is set up. Back yep. here, here's Luke Walsh. One pointer! Luke Walsh slots the ball over the top of the crossbar. St Helens will take a lead with them into the dressing room at half time. And that was a Phil Clark call, not Steve O. Yeah, a great little kick though, wasn't it? And it was amazing in the build up. Luke Walsh was saying, get out of my way, get out of my way. I can't take the credit. I can't take the credit. Russell alongside me actually tipped it about a minute before that. He can read the game. It's a lovely drop goal. And that could prove, could prove the difference. A problem for Tommy Makinson after that attack, and uh, oh dear, he looks in a bad way. But they've got uh, 15 minutes or so to sort him out during the half time break. Well, it's tight, isn't it? You would expect it in the second semi final of the first utility Super League with Old Trafford as the prize. Saints ahead after six minutes through Roby. Remember, Jordan Turner dropped the opening kickoff. Walsh added the penalty. 8 0, Hardacre, try. Sinfield, couple of goals. Walsh drop goal. 9 8 Saints, half time. Ladbrooks, proud sponsor of the Super League on Sky Sports. At Argos, get set for up to £100 off Dyson vacuum cleaners. Go Argos! You know that thing you do every day, day in, day out? Well, just stop. Start repairing with new Colgate Total Daily Repair. You can help reverse signs of early damage to your teeth and gums just by changing your toothpaste. Now, brushing means repairing. New Colgate Total Daily Repair for a healthier mouth, day in, day out. What are you responsible for? 23 tons and five foot of rubber. Keeping sticky fingers off these. Best law. We all have responsibilities. At Wonga, ours is to provide responsible loans that can help you bridge the gap until payday. Simply choose how much you need and for how long. And if you pay it back early, you'll save money too. So visit wonga.com now to find out how we can help you. No hidden fees, representative 1509% APR. Wonga, credit for the real world. Now with Santander and Apple Pay. Sippers, keep on sipping. Shoppers, keep on shopping. Commuters, keep on commuting. Apple Pay is the easy, secure way to pay with your Santander debit or credit card. And now you can track your Santander card spend when you're on the move with our new Spendlytics app. Don't change your life, change your bank. Simple, personal, fair. It's what a bank should be. Surprised? Wait until you experience the new Eco Turbo engine. Whether you're looking for the economy of a one liter or the power of a turbo, you'll find it in the new Kia Seed. for free now from the App Store. This is not going to be easy, lads. You've got to fight. Put your neck on the line. There'll be big decisions to make. You must be first to score. 
the right decisions will make all the difference. Here's a great offer from Betfred. Betfred, passionate about rugby league. Keep it. Please don't grab an. Stop a minute, stop, 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 stop. Right, stop a minute. I can't, I can't, I can't sort of control them individually. You couldn't have found a worse place. What is she doing? <laughs> she could have gone into the blades for all I know. Ladbrooks, proud sponsor of the Super League on Sky Sports. If you miss the start of the beginning of the end of the world, catch up with Sky One's brand new comedy drama, You, Me and the Apocalypse, starring Matthew Bainton, Rob Lowe and Pauline Quirk. The first episode is available on demand right now. And right now we're at half-time in the second semi-final of the first Utility Super League. The prize is a place at the Theatre of Dreams, and that's why this is a fiercely contested semi-final. Saints are just ahead at the break by nine points to eight. Luke Walsh's drop goal, the difference between the two sides. These the highlights of the first half. Roby spinning, hitting and spinning and getting over the line for the first try. Leeds respond with Zach from Zach Hardacre. And Brian McDermott is having a word with his skipper Kevin Sinfield and Danny Maguire, two of the old heads in this Leeds Rhinos dressing room. Infield hell bent on getting to Old Trafford to bring down the curtain on his career in the best possible fashion. But here in Cunningham's men are not champions for nothing, and they will not let go of this Super League title without a fight. And that's what they're giving the Rhinos here tonight. Okay, John Wells, there is plenty to talk about after that enthralling first half. And it has been enthralling as well, hasn't it? The biggest game of the season for both uh, teams, that goes without saying. Cue the big game players. We're going to start off with James Roby and that magnificent individual effort for the first try. It wasn't all just him, though. I thought in the build-up, Atelave, as Phil said rightly in commentary, hits this ball and pokes his nose through the defensive line. Any time a player gets through that defensive line and lands like that, that's a really dangerous situation for a defence because he's always going to beat the tacklers up onto the onto the into their feet and he's going to beat the defensive line back. Have a look, there's another problem here. Luke Walsh has just disappeared out of shot. He's the playmaker for St Helens. Carl Ablett is off one way. He's off to get him, he's off to put pressure and you know that particularly because he gives you a little clue there as well. His left arm saying he wants Kylie Lulawai on his inside. But the rest of it, you put down to James Roby. That initially is a short side play. They've got numbers on the short side. They've got issues there of leads in their defence. Roby decides to abort that and then skirts in the space, as Brian said in commentary, that Carl Ablett left. But you've got to say, big name, big game, big game player, James Roby. Then St Helens forced him to try save it. This was after the moon break. Great offload from Jamie Peacock. And we've just tracked Adam Swift because it is a fantastic effort, covers 30 metres diagonally and needed to make that connection with Tom Briscoe to prevent him from putting down the uh, the ball. Now, you could argue that's rolled out of the hands of Briscoe and that's Briscoe's uh, fault. I'd rather give the credit to the defence there. Well, if Saints can do it, Leeds can do it as well. And Danny Maguire will track him in turn because I thought this was crucial. Saints on the front foot, they were making up some ground. Have a look at how he adjusts here. And there's a late break just there as he realises he needs to leave his winger and get hold of Percival to cover and intercept a potential try for St Helens. Then we go to the, the Walsh penalty, which took them out to an eight-point lead on 16 minutes, and we rejoin for uh, the Singleton offload, which set up a penalty conceded by a Ave on Rob Burrow. Singleton gets in behind the rook, and that's the first thing. Very uncompromising player is Singleton. Gets into the soft spot there. The offload comes, and if there's an offload and a broken rook, there's nowhere, nobody else, rather, you want to give it to than Rob Burrow. He gets himself into that space and pulls a penalty, draws a penalty from a Televay, some nice feet. And from that penalty, it leads kick to the corner. Now, we might have the opportunity to talk to Danny Maguire. I'm not going to 
put my, uh, my a foot in either camp at the moment. We've got Danny Maguire or Luke Walsh joining us after. If I get the opportunity to talk to Danny Maguire, I'm going to be asking him what his conversation was here pre-play with Callum Watkins because there was some conversation made. Callum Watkins, if you keep your eye on him, it's Zach Hardacre, who's the try scorer, this man here. But Callum Watkins, the guy just here, he's the man who I want to... Uh, I want you to pay attention to during the breakdown of this run because he hides himself behind the ruck, out of vision, and none of these defenders on the open side can readily account for that extra man until he comes round. So keep your eyes on the orange boots of Callum Watkins. Appears late. And then I think that's a, that's a tackle ridden, no question about a double movement. Fair try to Zach Hardacre. Six points to eight. That's just in the first 20 minutes. Set Kevin Sinfield added the penalty on 26 minutes. And then uh, Luke Walsh with a drop goal just before half time. So 8 9, one more clip to show you. And it's the efforts. We've talked about Callum Watkins many, many times uh, this season, once again in the Dream Team. It's his other centre for me, who's causing all kinds of problems for St Helens and from deep in their own half as well. We know Leeds like to pass the ball around. The offload comes once again from Adam Cuthbertson. He is cutting that side to ribbons at the moment. This, if you remember, preceded the uh, Peacock offload and that swift try saver, forcing Triff. Uh, Swift into a try saver then a lovely little angle there back on the inside inside of a Televe Saints are gonna have to have, do some real work on that right hand edge to try and shut that man down because he is very very dangerous and it isn't just the individual threat that he poses it's how they play off the back of him Eddie because leads in broken play and with the retreating defense are very very difficult to contain well the south stand is holding its breath wondering what's coming in the second half they know there are two trophies in the cabinet but they did leave it mighty late against Huddersfield last week running a bit low on troops as well but the treble remains on it's only a one point gap between themselves and Saints and who's off to face Wigan at Old Trafford we'll find out next Ladbrokes proud sponsor of the Super League on Sky Sports Those folks at Paddy Power are so generous, they just can't stop giving. Fire up the T-shirt cannon, fella. Who wants one? Oh, Nobby does. Oh, right in the moneymaker. Referee. They're so generous it hurts. And it doesn't stop there. For all Premier League matches on TV this Saturday and every Saturday in October, bet £20 before the match and they'll give you a free £10 in-play bet. Download the app and bet now. Paddy Power, you're welcome. There's no home for nature, there will be no nature. If you build it, they will come. Give nature a home where you live. For your free guide, text HOME to 70030 RSPB. Giving nature a home. Wake up to Linwood's milled seeds, nuts and berries anytime and help boost your intake of fibre, vitamins and minerals. Love life with Linwood's. Kerry Mulligan, Helena Bonham Carter, Brendan Gleeson and Meryl Streep star in the best film of the year. Never surrender. We will win. Suffragette in cinemas October 12th. Beautiful football, look at this football, oh 
my blood football. This is amazing. White hair racing. And shot dropping. Big eye popping. It's unbelievable. It's incomparable. Pretty incredible. It's beautiful. Sports in the game. The ultimate FIFA experience only on Xbox One. You really think you're going to take this community from us? From me? Rick? The brand new series of The Walking Dead starts this month, first on Fox. And if you're not up to date, series one to five of The Walking Dead are available now with Sky Box Sets. Irish eyes are fighting now! World Grand Prix Darts, live from Dublin on Sky Sports. Ladbrokes, proud sponsor of the Super League on Sky Sports. This isn't just the final. We've been chasing this. Survival. The battle to remain where we belong. The bulls taming the wildcats. The wildcats. Swarming the bulls. Stampeding. Prowling. Back in the Super League. Staying in the Super League. This isn't just a fun. This means everything. The million pound game. The million pound game. Yes, who wants the million? Wakefield or Bradford, 2.45, Sky Sports 1, tomorrow afternoon. The million pound game. Promotion for Bradford or relegation for Wakefield. Who wants Old Trafford, Leeds or St Helens? 8-9, Saints ahead. Mark Percival about to get the second half underway after the shrill blast of the whistle of Robert Hicks. Here we go. A whole season's work for two great clubs comes down to the next 48 minutes. That's a great point that Kieran Cunningham made during the week, Eddie. The efforts these guys have put in since they got together at the start of the year well, it would have been before the turn of the year, actually. Pre-season training, all those hard hours, all that slog. Pre-season games, and then the Super League, World Club Challenge, Challenge Cup. They've had to go through it all. St. Helens side leads all of that too, except for the World Club Challenge. And it boils down to this, the next 40 minutes. It's a huge, huge half ahead of both of these sides. And St. Helens have taken a mighty gamble with Tommy Makinson. I don't think he's going to last much longer. No, he's limping already, but what a wonderful kick by that fella, Rob Burrow. That is a big problem for Saints and Kieran Cunningham. Look, he can hardly move, Makinson. And that, that's great tactic, isn't it? Well, you, you'd take the risk, though, wouldn't you? You'd get him out there and see if he can run for a minute or two. Better substitution. But here's in the first half how the tackle happened. You see his right leg and ankle twisted and bent behind his body. Complete freak accident. I suppose he's had 15 minutes inside the dressing room. They've done everything they can to keep it warm, keep his movement going, but he does look in pain and discomfort. I'm not sure I would risk it, Phil. I'm not, not sure. I think I'd give him a give him a minute or two, wouldn't you, Ryan? You could do that during the halftime break, get him to have a trot. He just he's moving so badly here. You see him hopping. He's not going to be able to do anything, Phil, if anybody attacks down that wing. And not only that, Brian, is that the fact that uh, Leeds have pinpointed him straight away. Rob Burrow kicked to that to that corner, and that means that they're going to put him under more pressure. It's a huge gamble. And the Saints have loaded the bench, of course, with four forwards, so there'll have to be a major rejig by Kieran Cunningham. And who knows if Saints get to Old Trafford. What repercussions will there be? If any team can cover, though, with the loss of a player, it's St. Helens. Remember last year's grand final? Lance Ahaya left the field, the main playmaker early in the game. They recovered and still won the match. High kick from Wilkin, claimed by Ryan Hall. 
and that's the first one he's had to defuse as well throughout this game and that really would have settled his nerves as I said last week against the Giants it was all over the shop well perhaps they'd have to utilize the likes of Mark Flanagan uh, to fill into to the centers as you say Eddie they've uh, they've got the big fellas on the bench of Saints hold on wait wait Garbutt they're going down that left-hand side, but it's basically straight up the middle from Brad Singleton. I mean, Leeds must have spotted that uh, Makinson has a major problem. Well, Brian McDermott... But coming this way. Brian McDermott, the Leeds coach, he's, he's fully aware of that. Now it comes to the kick, this is where they've got to go to him. He's on one leg, Makinson. He's on one leg. They've dropped him to the full back. He's got to get up and it's going. Well, he takes it cleanly, but look, he can hardly, he can hardly move. It's brave from Makinson, but how long can he last? I'm just looking at the Saints bench, there's not much movement over there. Well, you talk it's brave, Eddie. It may be brave, but it's quite foolish, as far as I'm concerned. He just, he, he's just not going to be in the game. I mean, how he took that ball is beyond belief. They've shoved him out onto the right wing now. He's moving slightly better now, but he's still, he's still not anything like 50% fit. He really isn't. Teller's bringing the ball away from that side with Cervelio. Let's hear from uh, Angela Powers. Any news on Tommy Macon tonight? You probably know as much as I do, to be fair. When he came off, he was limping off, and the doctor and the physio came off with him. They're going to put him back on, as you can see, he's back on the pitch. They're going to see how he goes, but just keep your eye on him, see how he goes. That's it, most of all. But the, the message from um, the Saints team about Makinson. The, the message overall from both coaches is very much the same. It's going to be a very tight game. It might go to the last five minutes, this. If not, as we know from last week, it could go even closer than that. As you can see as well, right on the, uh, the line there, the action's happening. But you know, the, the whole point for this game, they reckon, is just keep the intensity, keep going at it. No side is going to give up. They won't give up to the very end. So both of coaches saying the same thing. It's going to be tight. Keep up with the intensity. Well, there's a big problem for, work for St, from St. Helens here. Yeah, but there's a problem for John Wilkins. There you see him down there in back play. And what on earth they were thinking from Tom Briscoe to be throwing a pass like that. He raises the arm and says, sorry, fellas, but this... Well, yeah. Heidecker lands on Wilkin. Wilkin was brilliant, probably the best defender on the field in the first 40. Like, like Michael McLaurin, just for Wigan. Takes the line forward with great speed, very effective with the tackles he made. They need him out there. Oh, did that touch move in McCarthy Scarsbrook hands? No, says referee or touch judge this is the problem that uh, Wilkin picked up he got a bang in the face earlier in the first half remember and someone's just uh, now landed full weight on top of him maybe his head as well but he's been well checked out on the field he's a-okay to carry on they say so here comes Jordan Turner he needs to step up to the plate a little bit more as well Turner he was insignificant in that first 40 minutes, and uh, he's the man that's got the step. Great oh, run from Nilly. Greenwood. Great run that was. He had Watkins on his back. This now is Roby. Roby to Walsh. Walsh into centre field to Turner. Drops it off to LMS. And it was uh, Delaney who got to him first. He was finished off by Jamie Peacock. Roby, this is the last. Walsh, who he hangs on somehow, slides the kick in. Maguire gets to it, gets out of trouble brilliantly, actually. Skipped over the top of Jordan Turner's attempted tackle. Yeah, what a sight. Here goes Ryan Hall! Ryan Hall, can he get past Quinlan? Can he become the hero again? Yes, he can. No, oh, he brilliant tackle from Quinlan. Play the ball, he's got to be penalised. He had a second go. The official said play on. Advantage. Looping pass into the arms of Watkins. This is Leeds' chance. Big chance here, off the head. Back, Back to, to zero. Burrow. Rob Burrow loses his footing. Boy, there was a huge gap there. And he knows it, Brian McDermott. But full credit to Quinlan to stop in the big fella, Ryan Hall. It looked a one-horse race. But Quinlan stood his ground, got in a fantastic tackle. They're coming down that left-hand side, attacking Makinson's wing. Percival's got a bang on the head from Joel Moon. Moon keeps it going. And Percival's out of the defensive line as well. There's all sorts of problems left. They've got to go that way, surely. Burrow comes back this way, though, to Peacock. Peacock, looking for an opening in centre field, goes down, another great tackle from Roby. Plays the ball to Sinfield. Here is Brett Delaney. This is Callum Watkins. Oh, and Quinlan, does he get to it? Yes, he does. St Helens somehow survived. I don't know how, 
but Quinlan has just got back in time. There's a, a St. Helens player out on that left-hand side. Percival it is. If it's right to stop the game now, why didn't they stop it three players earlier? That doesn't make sense to me. Well, he's nowhere near the ball now. I think he's only just been told about the injury over on that side. That's the problem that uh, the officials have. They're looking at the play coming the one There's way. There's two touch and the injuries speak on the other with side. Microphones. Well, there is, but you know, as long as play goes over the far side, they're being treated. Uh, the doctor's on now, and once the doctor's on, we should really stop the game. Well, he doesn't look well, Mark Percival, does he? No. Clash of heads. Certainly made contact with Moon. Look at the break, though, no, from the, honest, the big no. winger, Ryan Hall. But look at him, Quinlan. He sizes him up. It's great play from Quinlan, you know. Is it ever? He knocks down the fend off and then goes for the legs. He's come up with two very big defensive plays. That one there on Ryan Hall. As you see, this is how he picks up the injury with a clash of heads. The treatment is finished. Now, this is where it gets hard for St. Helens. They've defended so well. Somebody's got to come up with a good run, quick play of the ball, and try and break this Leeds Rhinos wall. Leeds are hunting what could be a crucial try as Savellio takes this ball forward. They're looking for the, for the mistake from the champions. Roby. Here is Wilkin. Helps it on to Turner. Finds a Telebay. And look where they're going to have to play the fifth. 20 metres away from their own line. Big kick is required here. Big, big kick from Turner. Well, he gets it only as far as Briscoe. 10 metres inside his own half. Briscoe will return this. Gets as far as Greenwood and Wilkin. Turner's hurt now. Tell him somehow clinging on to this one point advantage. Delaney hobbling away. Is there going to be anybody left? Whoever gets to Old Trafford. This is Ablett. And Ablett goes down. Wait. Oh, he caught the leg by the which is in the training leg of Turner. This is Burrow. Burrow gets it away. Oh, what a brave tackle that was by Makinson. Ablett has he only delayed it ever to goal. He's got it down, has he? There's a knee underneath it. He'll go upstairs, or as he says, play the ball, he's short. He's seen it on the floor, he says. This is going up as a try. Well, how on earth did St. Challenge keep them out for so long? How on earth did Makinson get to the first tackle? Well, it's James Roby that might have done his knee, James Roby's right knee. Just keep an eye on that. Well, I haven't seen the ball on the ground yet, and of course it's got to be grounded. The referee said he's seen at some point the ball on the ground, which is why he wore the try on the way up, but uh, certainly from the first view, the ball didn't get anywhere near the ground. I'm with you, Stuart, I don't think he's got this down. Just look at James Roby drive his knee in there, keeping the ball off the ground. I think the man that scored the opening try, unless we see a different angle, might have saved one. There's the ball. There's James there. Roby's knee in between the ball and the ground. I think Roby Eddy has pulled off a huge play, ably assisted by Atalia Vey. People have just seen that boot come across, they think that's the ball. It's no try as far as I'm concerned. Well, don't forget the system we've got. The referee set this up as a try. Have the video referees got enough evidence there to say that it's not a try? Certainly we think they have up here, but it's down to the two video referees. They have to disprove that this ball hasn't touched the line. And don't forget it's senior partners, Thaler and Silverwood. They've got to turn this down. Everybody, Savellio's foot, Roby's knee, Natalia Vey's body. I think they've stopped this. Carl Ablett, no try. Let's have a look. This is a big call. This is a massive call. Tries denied. Great defence from Roby. Well, the Saints must have Burr Grills at training in the week because their survival instincts are amazing. They've had the opponents made five great breaks in this game, and not once have they been able to turn it into a try. Most often this season, a long-range effort from Leeds leads to six points. But I'll tell you what, Saints somehow stopped their opponents scoring here tonight. And this and is the last tackle here with Sinfield to Singleton, and they have stopped them. Unbelievable courage from St. Helens. Oh, yeah, yeah, that is great. Singleton thought they'd get through. And there's more problems for Leeds. Brett Delaney, he is in all sorts of trouble. 
Well, Leeds not taking a chance on Delaney. Makinson incredibly still out there, and he put in a very important tackle in that sequence of events we saw. If, Eddie, and it's a huge if because it's the Leeds Rhinos at Headingley that Saints are playing against. If Saints go on to win this game and have a repeat of next year's grand final, remember the period, last five minutes of defence that they put in, including that man, Tommy Makinson, who's now left the field, but did put in a try-saving tackle. That might be a, a huge part in St. Helens going ahead and winning this game. And if, if they get there, will Makinson play a part at Old Trafford? He's got eight days to recover. Delaney, likewise. Wilkin with a deep kick. And it'll, this will skip dead. Oh, just, just as well. Just The idea was superb. It's a little bit disappointed with it. Frustration, yes, for Wilkin. He wanted that to stay, obviously, in the field of play. But he will be so proud of his uh, players, the way that they kept Leeds out. Well, we often call for the one point, Eddie, when it gets uh, close. We, we saw one from Luke Walsh just before the half-time break. It wouldn't surprise me if Leeds, if they get anywhere near, they'll go to tie it up, make it 9 all. They won't wait until the last few minutes. Big hit. Big hit by Greenwood. Well, the shift of personnel, Eddie. Tommy Bacon's are going off. Looks like Mark Percival going on the wing. And Louis McCarthy Scarsbrook will play as right centre for the rest of this game. He is agile, he is big, and he is quick. He will be tested. And he's going to be tested here now because this is Cuthbertson. Gets it away to Burrow. Uh, Burrow scrambles to his feet, plays it to Maguire. Here comes Ablett. Ablett bounces away from one. Roby sticks to his guns with help from Wilkin. Captain's not tonight from James... Uh, from, uh, John Wilkin certainly is. Here's a high kick. Maguire's got it up. Quinlan claims it. Tremendous. Good work by Peacock, though. Peacock just stayed away, made sure that he didn't give away the penalty. So different. So many meters. It makes all the difference. Keep them down there. Well, St. Helens have been on the back foot really for about the last 10 minutes. But they're about to bring on what they think is their game changer. Alex Worms has been impressive this season in almost every game we've seen him play. He's given the ball here and asked by his team now to get us out of our own half and rolling downfield. Wilkin again. What an effort from this fella tonight. Certainly is, and then that, that's good yardage forward. This will be the kick. Walsh into the corner. Oh, he's gone to midfield and it's a cracker. Briscoe picks it up underneath the shadow of his uprights, finds Hardacre, and the chase has arrived. You know, it, it, it amazes me. Briscoe takes the ball on the run and then slows down to pass to Zach Hardacre, who is barely trotting. You've got to get the ball in the winger, take it to him, get those extra few meters right down to angela powers quickly well while you were on that no try waiting for the de decision we saw uh, delaney in the back of play he was having his, his legs strapped up his thighs strapped up but he tried to run it off and just couldn't get the look on his face was pure agony so he's limped off the pitch and he's now having ice on his thigh they think it could be a dead leg not sure yet but it doesn't look like he might be able to come on in the near future in terms of tommy makinson he's sitting next to me with his uh, his boot off but we'll wait and see with that one too Okay, so things off the field, things on the field, deep kick, and uh, Mark Percival was underneath it, and he will return this with interest with Percival. And that's how you should run, not wait and find someone to pass. Look at the meters that they've got forward. They're on the roll. I think Louis McCarthy Scarsbrook got a bang in the face for his pains there as well. Adam Swift. Wilkin pops the pass up to that man Wormsley, carries it forward to the 40 meter mark inside the Leeds half. McCarthy, Scarsbrook, okay, here goes Kyle Amor, he's got Greenwood with him, Amor, little dummy, Kyle Amor, he's lost and it. it is Hardacre again. There was a wobble there, I don't know whether he lost control of it. Quinlan underneath oh, the pass. Oh, knocked on! I think it's Peacock's knocked on. Is it knocked on in goal? That's what he's called, goal line dropout. So he's knocked on in the goal area. Boy, very fortunate and indeed. But what about the effort from Kyle Amor? He did lose it. Yeah, lost it plainly. And the referee didn't see it. Well, I picked it up quickly. It looked as though it bobbled, and there you can see. Ooh, lucky.
lucky. Boy, how lucky is Peacock. Well, I was looking at the St. Helens side, Eddie, that looked busted, looked beat up. And then Mark Percival and Kyla Moore come up with brilliant runs to put the Leeds Rhinos under pressure. Let's see what St. Helens could do. One point in front of the scoreboard. They're going to be tired. They've been defending. Let's see if they can puncture the Leeds Rhinos. Wormsley trying to do exactly that. Stuart, so just tell me why he couldn't go back to that incident where he appeared to lose... Well, did definitely lose the ball. Well, the try wasn't scored um, for the first thing, um, but it's also gone through a few phases of play. So we can't use the video referee in that situation. Fair enough. There we are, all cleared up. Wormsley. Three. And that's where the touch judges should be there to help. Roby, here is Walsh. Amor again. Amor again. Oh, he just brushed off Peacock. Peacock didn't know where he is. Yeah, Jimmy Peacock looks out on his feet. Roby and Greenwood. The ball is spilled. The ball is spilled. Sinfield drops on it gratefully. Oh, that's a big error there. Here goes Watkins. Greenwood should have kept all of this. Yeah, but mate, this is what a playoff game should be like. You should have to do something special if you want to score points in a game like this. And both teams' commitment, admirable. And that man there, he got the head pats when he got up. It was Brad Singleton that jabbed his shoulder into the St. Helens ball carrier, dislodged it. Big defensive effort, turned the ball over just when his team were starting to feel the pressure of St. Helens. Singleton takes it forward for the Rhinos. All oh, tackles gone, still halfway inside their own half. Can Lulawai carry them up to halfway? Yes, he can, almost. I made the point, Teddy, that they'll go for one if they get anywhere near, but, it, you know, the, the Saints, St. Helens defence has been solid. And you can see them taking it on the full. Quinlan was underneath the, the kick, this is Adam Swift. And he's now underneath Rob Burrow and Kylie Lulawai. Jamie Peacock blowing for tugs on the sideline. He'll come back, I'm sure. 41 tackles, that's why he looks exhausted, Jamie Peacock. This is Alex Wormsley. Yeah, both sides are going through the mill, aren't they? Wilkin, McCarthy Scarsbrook. So I must say, you've got to say that they, it looks like Saints are a little bit more adventurous. They're getting over that advantage line. They, they look a lot, well, more eager to get on with the game. This is a high one. Again, from Wilkins' left boot. Hardacre's safe as houses. Briscoe. Could have been a penalty. Is a penalty. Yeah, second effort. And it's just a lack of concentration that brings it about. Fatigue setting in. I think it's uh, a lack of oxygen, Mike, isn't it? 16 yeah. very fast and hard minutes of all teams. Pulled him back after he's got up to play the ball. The number of times Tom Briscoe is awarded a penalty. Players really struggle to put him on the ground. Here comes Lulawai in the charge. Straight at Josh Jones and Greenwood. I tell you what, Wigan will be licking their lips watching this. This is a physical confrontation ahead of whatever's going to happen at Old Trafford next week. Wigan against either of these two. Where's your money running? Saturday the 10th, week tomorrow, 5 o'clock. Well, you're right, Eddie, the cherry and whites over the, over the Pennines. They'll be saying, let's see a few more of these players. I mean, they're dropping like flies at the moment. And they'll want golden point. We've never had golden point in the playoffs in Super League before. They'll want this to go on till midnight, Wigan. And also, they've got Singleton. to get in a good position and maybe go for the one. Singleton. Squared it all up. Wonderful play by Singleton. Yeah, High shot. Obstruction. Oh, obstruction. it's obstruction. It's obstruction. Against, it's against Leeds. That's Rob Burrow, believe it or not. Blocks there, uh, Joe Greenwood. They're right in the line, runs behind him, and that's a penalty. And he knows it as well. And it was just at that point that Leeds were setting up for the one point, Eddie, to square it. They know it's not going to be easy to score a try. Wormsley again, straight at Cuthbertson. Roby goes down the short side in the Televé. Well, my money's on the man, James Roby, to make the breakthrough. It's with Walsh. Wormsley again. He's seen some work since he's come off the bench. Big tackle, Kylie Lulawai. Wait, wait, go. He's injured now, it's Wormsley. Last move. 
Yes, they're on and trying to sort Alex Wormsley out as Luke Walsh has it and kicks cross field, looking for Greenwood maybe, only finding Sinfield. How about that? St. Helens find Kevin Sinfield. Yeah, how about this for the take? Under enormous pressure. You talk about a captain's knock. But Saints will be eager to stop Leeds getting anywhere near the halfway line. Got to be careful. Make sure that they're square. They could have been penalised there, Wilkin. He had a second goal. Right hole. Oh, he's lost it. Picked up by Wilkin. Picked They've up got by the Wilkin. Overlap, Eddie. They have. It is Jordan Turner. And here goes Percival. And Percival scores for St. Helens. Kieran Cunningham, Sean Long off their feet. Not given yet. They've got to try on the field. And they're having a look at what happened in the way the ball came free at the start of this free play. That's what we're checking, that's what we're checking. Leeds surrounding the referee and asking him to check on that. And Kevin Sinfield having to just close them down. Now then, Stuart, well, what's asked, your verdict? He asked, was it a one-on-one -on -one ball steal? I, I think it was a one-on-one -on -one ball steal. And it's gone backwards, and I think it'll be play on. That ball comes out and comes away. Is there any worry with Kyla Moore being involved in the tackle first? Just have a look at this, Stuart. So you've got Kyla Moore involved in the tackle. Well, from that point, it's still touching him. He's still touching him, but he breaks the tackle. Right. He's broken the tackle. He keeps going. He hasn't fallen off, as the law states. He's broken the tackle. Uh, Ryan Hall's broken the tackle. That then becomes a one-on-one -on -one ball steal. So that should be play on. And it's gone backwards, you're right. But Wilkin knew that they had the overlap. He could see there the sucking Joe Moon. And Percival has become a hero. Right in front of the visiting fans as well coming up to the hour mark on this is this a crucial moment for Mark Percival and the champions yes it is <laughs> St Helens lead is increased by four courtesy of the 10th try of the season for Mark Percival well a big turnover of possession here when you've got your best chance to score and beat football or rugby the defence isn't set and the quickest teams in the best sides score in these situations. John Wilkins, John Turner, what a great conversion from a chance to points with a massive kick here to follow. See Brian Hall almost burst through the middle of the field, Wishbone had a good carry, the two wingers for Leeds are dangerous when they run the ball. With a lost possession, Wilkins does really well, as does Turner, but what a classy winger whip that uh, St. Helens have on the outside at the moment. And you can see there that the man that lost the ball, Ryan Hall, that meant that there was a huge gap out on the left-hand side, and he has taken full advantage. But what about the quick thinking by John Wilkin? He didn't panic, he went on the arc. He knew that all he had to do was suck in Joel Moon, the centre. Having done that, Turner and Percival finish it off. Well, Mark Percival got two tries in the Challenge Cup semi-final against Leeds and lost. He's just scored a try here in this semi-final in the race to Old Trafford. And will it be crucial? This is an important kick from Walsh. He's missed it. Well, everybody in the Leeds Rhinos jersey must have got to try and stop this when St. Ellen's turned it over and spread it wide. I think, though, in the end, Kylie Lunaway and his efforts might have gotten the way of Zach Hardacre. I think Zach Hardacre, the defender that he is, had Kylie not been there, trying to do his best for his team, that Zach might have been able to stop it. And Kieran Cunningham wouldn't be celebrating a crucial score for St. Ellen's. Deep kick-off, Wilkins underneath it. No, Wilkin has had some hold, nights in the hold, Red V of St. Helens. This, one of his best. Yeah. Whoa! He's led by example. Massive hit that was by Kynehorst. Oh, there's plenty left in this game, that's for sure. We've just gone into the final quarter. Well, Leeds had a fair tail ending last week. This is all said, isn't it? Kevin Sinfield's last game on this ground. For him to kick the winning conversion to win the game 14 13. But to do that, they need to improve in what they've shown the last 15. Oh, Carnegie play here, too. Wormsley will take it forward. Oh, Good effort. Last yeah. tackle here oh. now. Good effort by Wormsley. He certainly made an impact when he came back on. Wilkin. Ooh, Ooh, not the best Frisco. effort there. They're messing around. Oh, he looked very, very oh. cumbersome there. We trapped him with the inside of the boot. It just uh, spewed away from him. Ooh, oh, oh. Ryan Hall hangs on somehow. 
Johnson. Yeah, and his mind will be thinking about the fact that uh, Greenwood ripped it away from him. And they're up for it in the defence, and he knows he's under pressure, oh, Brian McDermott. He knows they're going to pull something out of it. Two of the three are here at Headingley, oh, two of the three trophies. St. Helens at the moment, one footstep down Matt Busby way. Tell you what, St. Leeds are going to say something else in this game before the end of it. I have no doubt about that at all. The scoreline will not stay the same. Can he offload? Briscoe, no. Great defence once again. Leading the way, the captain, Wilkin. Burrow with a kick from inside the 40, right down the middle of the field. It's a great one, too. This will hang about in the in-goal area. Percival will run it back. It's a bit of a ragged chasing line. Move, Jamie! Hold! Well, isn't it amazing they're giving away penalty, a penalty? Saint Helens. This will relieve the pressure. He can't believe it, Ablett. But I think there was an arm in there. See the arm underneath, just pulls the ball away. Trying to kid the referee, Robert Higgs. But isn't it amazing? Leeds were setting up 9-8. Saints were leading. Leeds setting up for the one-pointer. Rob Burrow gets done for obstruction. Hanging tackles, boys. Hold And has history changed Rob with that moment? Move. Come on, Jimmy. There's still plenty Hold of time it. for Leeds. Hold up. Savelio for St. Helens to the halfway Two. line, exactly. Two, and you can see there that James Roby marshalling the troops and the way that John Wilkin is getting the kicking game away. They must feel pretty confident. It's been a good effort, especially Three. from this fella, Three. Kyle Amor. He's Hold had a big you. game. Hold Kyle, mate. Hold my weight. Go. Roby again to Luke Walsh. Now it's Savelio once more. For Jamie! Composure, Go. the key. And he knows it is Roby. He's off again. Wilkin on an angled run. Move, Last tackle here coming up for St. Helens. Go. Back it comes to Walsh. Walsh slides the kick in. Louis McCarthy Scarsbrook's after this. Ryan Hall collects it. Jordan Turner Walsh. collects him. Move, Jordan. They turn it over on the Leeds Go. line. Go. Great kick. And that's all you need. Just keep them Two. down there. Move, get square. Oh. But they've got to be wary. They know that uh, Leeds are capable. They've got the speed out wide. What a battle this is, what a battle. Well, we anticipated it, didn't we? Garbutt takes it forward. Again, Saints defence, and he's done his job well in defence as well, Amor. Peacock gets the arm free. Oh, he tried to offload it, that play on. Free. Well, they don't need that. Why, does, why are they trying to do that in their own half? Why is he trying to do it with that amount of bodies around him? They could do it in their own half. But with that many bodies around Jamie Peacock attempting an offload, this, this is folly. Well, it's not what you expect from one of the most experienced players in Super League. Another try at it, and it is all over. Roby. Centre field to Wilkin. Savelio. Another good run from young Andre Savelio. Doesn't he come of age late in this season? The 20 year old Walsh drops it off to a Bay. Four, again, that inside five, pass on the angle. Five, He's created all sorts of problems for Leeds. Walsh again. Walsh again. Last. They've Move reached the fifth tackle. Go Here line, comes the boys, last Jamie. for Go the line. Saints. A grubber into the in goal, surely. Roby! Roby! Oh, he went again. to the zone. They Peacock saved the day. And they turn it over again, oh, just short of the Leeds line. Well, he's out on his feet. Go. Jamie Peacock. Surely he can't last the rest of this game. Well, the least problem is going forward here. They've just given the ball to Danny Maguire and asked him to get them away from their own try line. Ryan Hall next, but they're literally crawling forward here now on hands and knees. And they can't seem to get through. Oh, big risky pass. Three. Well, that's in, get forward. That's in Adam Cuthbertson's DNA, isn't it? He doesn't seem to be able to remove that from his game, and it's been a feature of his first season in the Super League. Cuthbertson, the offload. Sinfield with a 40 20 attempt. With a 40 20 attempt. He's got to get He's it. Got it. What a kick from Sinfield. And what a player. When the pressure arrives and you need something out of the out of the box, he does it. And he knows it as Brian McDermott. We saw it last week when it was Danny Maguire that put that little chip over for Ryan Hall. They won it with five seconds against the Giants.
and this could be the turning point. I watched Mitch Garbutt as this ball went over the sideline. Zach Hardacre patting him on the back. Mitch Garbutt, one of the forwards that would have had to be walked back up and defend another set had that not been a 40-20. He punched the air, thanking his inspirational leader, Kevin Sinfield, for that huge play. Well, it's a five-point margin. Remember, six-point try. It would come down to Kevin Sinfield to kick the goal. Would that goal take Leeds and Sinfield to Old Trafford? They've got to score the try first. Maguire doing all that he can to try and get over the line. Sabellio making sure he doesn't make any more progress forward. Here is uh, Sinfield again into centre field to Watkins. Watkins drops his shoulder. Move goal line. Get on it. I'm still backing Burrow to have a, a big, a big say in this game. Peacock to Sinfield, wide to Burrow. Three. Great work. McCarthy Scarsbrook again. The big fella's done a good job out there on that right centre. Maguire's having a right go at the winger on that far side. Peacock, Peacock gets it away. Lost it. I think he was tackled without the ball. Oh, they'll take the tap, surely. This will be interesting. Will McDermott say we'll take the two and risk getting over? Wait, wait, well. They've gone for the tap, they've done the right thing. Garber drives it in towards that St. Helens line. My money's on Barrow. Beep, beep, to get over. Stay on your line. He's two metres away, he's a dummy half. Burrow, he's having a go. They were alert to that danger. It's Cuthbertson now, back it comes to Sinfield. Then it goes to Hardacre. Solid defence again from Saints, Walsh low down. Sinfield, Peacock, Watkins, Watkins! Held up just short, Quinlan. Hardacre. They're all offside. Play on, says the referee. Play on, says the referee. Sinfield, delayed in eternity. Flicks it back to Kynholz. He gives it to Maguire. Maguire goes wide. This is Joel Moon. Off the back foot to Ryan Hall again. He can't get it down. He's got that down. He's got that down. Yeah, but has he got it on the line? Percival stopped him. That's oh, unbelievable. I've got to try. They've got to try there. I think he got it down. Oh. I think he just managed to get it down. And has Ryan Hall done it again for the Rhinos? Joel Stuart Moon. Cummings, talk to us about the referees, the video referees. Well, Robert Hicks, again, in a good position in the goal area. He's awarded the try on the field. It's a case of, does he get that ball down in the goal area? Remember, the line is part of the goal area. Is it down there? We can see that he's still got possession despite the attention. He's in possession, that's a try. He's got the wrist on it, and that surely will be downward pressure. Well, that ball stayed in his, gris, in his grasp all the way down. His fingers are still on it. I think that's enough to award the try. He's, He's done it again. The super zoom shows that it's down on the line. Only just. That's but all it's it needs. Yeah. And his, hand, his fingers are underneath it, so that's A-OK. -okay because then he's remaining in possession. Down pressure. Yes, he's remaining in possession. possession. OK, here we go. Is it in? Yes, it is. John Wilkin looked at the screen when that decision came up and couldn't believe it. Well, I thought Percival had done enough, but the credit for this try, not only his finish, but Joel Moon picking the ball up off his bootstraps and dropping his wingman, Brian Hall, under. To, oh, he got to this ball. Absolutely, right. Steve. Oh, when they shift it across, it is a bad ball that Joel Moon has to stoop down and collect. But he does, and Ryan Hall does the rest. This is the pass. How on earth did he pick that up? Fingertip control. Back on the inside. One, two, three, four. And he's got four. And here he goes, Kevin Sinfield, to give Leeds the lead for the first time tonight and inch them towards a return to Old Trafford. Sinfield has kicked the goal. Leeds are ahead, 14 points to 13. They never give in. It looked as though it was all over when this was given. It was a penalty. They claimed that he was taken out before he took possession. Wilkin didn't like it. Made it quite sure about that. They thought it was going to be a try, and when it was given, they have uh, gone into raptures.
still plenty of time, 10 minutes. 10 minutes, one point. But it's Saints now who have to play catcher. As Garvin drives it forward again. Have we got another twist in this tale? Peacock. Sinfield. As he kicked the goal on this his last appearance at Headingley, that takes this club back to Old Trafford. Johnny Hart foot. again. Garvert. I don't think Leeds really. They can't just play safety first. They've got to try to get at least another two points with a penalty or seal it off with a try. And they'll keep going at it. They know that Saints never give in. Great run from Ablett. Sinfield drills. Oh, he tried to drill the ball into touch. Adam Swift picked it up. Sinfield, though, gets the tackle in. One of the most important 40-20s we've seen in a long time. I mean, time will tell. Nine minutes left in the game, but let's not forget the Kevin Sinfield 40-20. Well, that was a good... Centellas seemed out of it before they conceded the try to break through leads in the middle of the field. What's the ball turned back inside, testing the tire in all the defenders. I'm sure they'll stay in the middle and try and blast through them. This is the 122nd playoff tie since they were brought into this game in 1998. We have never seen extra time or a golden point. If Saints get the chance, do they go for the drop goal? Yeah, they've got to. They can't take the risk otherwise. And Leeds are aware of it. No errors, no mistakes. Cling on to this ball. No penalties for St. Helens. That'll be key as well, Steve-O. As fatigue sets in, well, it's well set in now. Do not give the referee an opportunity to blow his whistle. Hardacre on halfway, plays the ball. It's Sinfield. Now Maguire, here goes Cuthbertson. He spun to the ground. Could have been a little high from Wilkin, perhaps. It was in the chin. Garbutt. Last tackle coming up for the Leeds Rhinos. Do they put it in a touch or do they put it up in the air? Up in the air is the answer off Sinfield. He's going to bounce. Maguire's after it. Oh! Percival to the rescue, just. Back, he lost. You can't afford to let it bounce. Well, the turning points in this second half have all come from the boot of Kevin Sinfield. 40-20 kick, a conversion which wasn't easy, 10 metres in from the sideline, and then here, an attacking kick that gives his side repeat possession inside the last 10 minutes. I think Percival has done remarkably well there to cover that kick. Didn't field it as well as he'd like to, but he did very well to read Kitsinfield's reverse kick. Quinlan was already drawn across. If Percival hadn't come there, swept it up, then Maguire would have been in. Ball back. St. Helens have got time, Eddie, to get back into this game. It's only the solitary point. Yes, just the one point. Oh, Garvin lifts Wilkin off his legs. Well, we, we've, we've given so much praise, haven't we, to Adam Cuthbertson for the offloads throughout this season. But really, Brian McDermott's got to say to him, don't risk the offload. Here he is, gives it to Garvin. He goes down, tackle number four. Burrow. Burrow, trying to go on his own. Gives it to Watkins. Watkins then to Zach Hardacre. And Hardacre running laterally, looking for someone straight to run up, off him. Straight Comes up. back this way. They haven't laid a hand on him yet. They haven't laid a hand on him yet. Now they have Quinlan and a Bay. Cuthbertson to the in-goal area in too long. Well, is it written in the stars that leads get to Old Trafford or have Saints got something in reserve? Percival. You never know, but Brian McDermott perhaps will be furious that it was Cuthbertson that was utilising the kick there. When you've got the likes of Barrow, you've got the likes of Sinfield and Maguire. Why on earth do you want a forward to be doing that? Swift. They need a clean break, the Saints. That's good meter so far. There is time on the clock. And Maguire gets a little knock on as well, so they play the first. Just took his eyes off the ball. He could see Joel Moon coming in. 
This is where Kevin Simfield's able in the white hot heat intensity of this match, but he's head in an ice pack, cool down his thinking and make sure he directs his side in the right way. It's a very difficult skill, but he's learned through a valuable experience and why it's so important. Ryan Hall, seven days ago, he won the league leader's shield for the Rhinos at the John Smith Stadium, Huddersfield. Tonight, has this try and the Sinfield goal taken leads to the grand final at Old Trafford? Five minutes to go. But where St. Helens, or where Leeds end this set is going to be crucial, Eddie. Where and how they end it. Well, it's got to be over the touchline. That's where I'd be putting it. Garbutt gets the pass away to Kindhorst. Don't go anywhere near the touchline. Got to make sure, get kick into the corner. Three, but knowing Sinfield or maybe Maguire, they'll put it right up. James, go. Here's Maguire. Four, move James, Down on tackle on. number four. Oh, wait, wait. Burrow. Sinfield in front of a Bay. Last. He goes down on the and fifth, right. so this is the last for Leeds, this set. Into the corner, oh, they're running it! What With on Peacock. earth are they doing? They've probably thought themselves, well, it's a turnover, and we'll just keep our defence. He looks calm and collected as Brian McDermott. But it's got to be a 90-metre effort from St Helens. Yeah, but I'd have wanted that ball to either go out in a touch or into the in-goal area. Remember the Wigan game. Just a couple of weeks ago, Two, they nice. snatched it at the death then. Can they do it again tonight? Luke Walsh, Greenwood. Three, two, go. Well, Luke oh. Walsh, Eddie, he has to plot their route downfield. Oh. That man will help us, Oi. Oh. Here goes Roby. What a big game he's had, James oh, Roby. Play on, says the referee, he was off Wilkin up in the air and carried on by Walsh to Louis McCarthy's Garsbrook. It's got to be a kick over the top when it comes to the last. They're just keeping last. this ball alive, they've Move, reached the three. fifth, here comes Move. the last. There's no sweeper. Such tension, such tension here at Headingley. Hardacre's up, he's not dropped deep. He knows there's maybe a little kick coming. It's Josh got to be Jones. coming. Josh Jones, not the best, Wilkin. Wilkin out wide, swift forward forward yeah you could see with the direction of the arms that it was always going to go forward he, he just hesitated watch this yeah it's slipping away forward he was in a great position with robert hicks the official well, luke walsh with that conversion miss it was only inches but that's the difference between at the moment going to old trafford and failing and this is up the jumper time. Turn the clock back. The old fashioned, come on, steam picks the forwards. Don't pass. Hardacre to Ryan Hall. Down he goes, 40 meters away from his own line. Singleton to halfway. Sinfield. This is Briscoe, and Briscoe goes down, tackle number four. Sinfield. You know, Sinfield has been magnificent for this club, and he knows this will be the last time he played at Headingley under the rugby league rules. Good kick into the corner by Rob Burrow. But one kick, just one kick, Eddie, has turned this game on its head. The 40-20, and Rob Burrow knows he's been around long enough to realise that'll eat up a few, maybe 20 seconds, before they stop the clock. Well, this is Saints' last chance. And this There's is the, the moment. 20. This is the moment. I know they made a song of it, but he will remember it for a long, long time. Well, nobody could have imagined the excitement the game finished with last week at Huddersfield at the John Smith and Ryan Hall's try. If St. Helens get anything out of this game in the next minute and a little bit, it will be extremely special. Josh Jones will not give it up. St. Helens will not give up without a fight, but they've got one and a half minutes. One and a half minutes to win this. Hardek has not dropped back. He's anticipating the chip over the top. Walsh, Atelave, 
Televay. He's had a big Boom game as deals well. with the threat. And again, Hardacre won't drop back. Surely they'll go for the chip over the top, but that's great defence. Oh, Watkins! It's Watkins all over. will take lead run out to Old Trafford. Walsh desperately trying to keep the ball alive. Flipped at it in the air. It bounced kindly for Callum Watkins. He doesn't need second invitations. And Callum Watkins gets over for the try that takes leads to Old Trafford and registers his 100th career try. 200 career tries in Leeds Colours for Ryan Hall last week to win it. 100 in Leeds Colours for Watkins to win it here tonight. Incredible. You take the, the opportunity. The is on. And Eddie, I just cannot believe that Saints didn't try to opt for the little chip over the top. Remember, it saved Leeds' bacon last week. And uh, commiserations there from Brian McDermott. Great friends, great yeah. friends off the field. Brian McDermott, Kieran Cunningham. Kieran Cunningham's first season in charge ends in bitter disappointment. Brian McDermott has won the league leader's shield has won the Challenge Cup and is now 18 minutes away from winning the treble. And this is Kevin Sinfield. This was his kick. This is his last kick on this ground in Leeds Colours. He kicks it. They're there. They're back for the first time since 2012. It's a repeat of the 1998 the inaugural cup, uh, cup, uh, grand final between Wigan and Leeds. And if it's as good as it was that night, we are in for a treat. And I think it might be even better. St Helens have run their blood to water.